I'm Ranger Erin, talking to you from the Parklands of Floyd's Fork, and today we're going to talk about animal engineers. So an engineer, in human terms, is somebody who is going to design and then build something that's going to make our lives easier, they're going to make our lives better. So the device that you're watching this program on, the cars and the buses that you ride around in, the clothes that you wear, were all designed by different types of engineers. And we've got animals that do the same thing. So they're going to be designing and then building something to make their life easier. So while there are some animals out here, like a turtle, who isn't going to bother ever building anything, they're just going to walk around with their shell on their back, they've got everything they need. There are other animals who are going to need to build something in order to make their life better. So you can think about the way that a spider builds a spider web in order to capture their prey. You can think about the way that a bird will build a bird's nest in order to raise their young and lay their eggs. You can also think about the way that a crayfish will burrow into the mud to have a good safe place to live during the cold, the cold winter and even during the dry summer. We're gonna take a look at some of these different objects and how these animals built the things that they needed to make their lives easier. I wanna start first with a bird's nest. So our birds will often use the same nest year after year and they're gonna make their nest out of whatever is available. So this bird used a lot of mud on the outside so you can kind of see it has kind of a hard crusty outside it's got lots of grass in there and then on the inside they use smaller grass that's going to be softer because if you've got a bird's nest you want to make sure that it's both strong enough to hold the parents and the babies but it's also got to be soft and warm for those babies when they're sitting in there so that they have a nice place to grow up in and they're gonna be different based on the bird. So this is just gonna be a songbird. I've got another one here that's for an even smaller bird. And it's not quite as strong, but you can tell it's a whole lot softer. So they used a bunch of um, fur and seeds to line that whole edge and it makes a really soft bird's nest. And then if you think about a bald eagle is a huge bird, I don't have one to show you, but they're gonna have to make it so big and so strong that it's gonna be the size of a bathtub. So all these birds out here are just gonna use whatever they have. They're gonna use sticks, they're gonna use stones, they're gonna use mud and seeds and fur and whatever in order to make it work. And they have to make it strong and they have to make it soft. Here we have a wasp nest long abandoned so there's no wasps in here now but a wasp lives in a hive with a whole bunch of other wasps and they were the first to invent paper so they make their whole nest out of paper and they chew up dead leaves and then spit them out making paper and that way that they can sort of construct it to look like anything they want it to look like but they make little chambers in order for them to store honey for the winter and to raise their young in. So each one of these little chambers would have either had honey in it or it would have had little baby wasps in it. And you can see that they use whatever they have available. So this one used a pine cone to make it just a little bit stronger by wrapping that paper all around the pine cone. This strange construction is a beaver dam. So out here on the water, our beavers will choose to sometimes dam up the creek. So they will build some structure that will stop or slow the flow of water. And that way, our beavers are gonna have a nice, still, deep pool behind them that they can swim in because they don't like shallow water. And you can kinda see below the dam, it's very shallow, but behind the dam, there's a little bit more water to swim around in. This beaver used sticks and stones and use their sharp teeth to shave down each one of these trees and branches to fit perfectly in their dam. Instead of building above ground, many animals choose to build burrows underground. A burrow is any living area for an animal that's underground and it can include tunnels like this one 
or it can include rooms like in a groundhog's home. Now this small, smooth burrow is made by a crayfish. And they like to use that hard clay as opposed to soft sand because it makes a really strong tunnel. All right, so again, in this video, we talked about what an engineer is. It's somebody who builds or designs something that's gonna make lives easier, whether it's human lives or animal lives. We also talked about the different types of things that an animal may make, including burrows, nests, beaver dams, spider webs, ant mounds, and so many more. Thanks for joining me.